Well, Wichita County is working to help strengthen the Kitchen and Red Doors Meals on Wheels program. It's doing that with a large check donation. Zach Verdia was there for that presentation. Zach, how exactly will they use that donation? Well, guys, that check will go right towards a brand new truck that will expand the reach Meals on Wheels has throughout the county. The pandemic brought countless re-existing problems to the forefront of many people's minds. It's a sad thing when you receive those calls and you try to find help for them and there's no help out there. So just as a, a giving heart, you try to look for ways to help. And a huge one, food insecurities. And those are the calls Wichita County Precinct 2 Commissioner Mickey Finn Cannon was receiving from his constituents. Folks in more rural areas weren't able to access the city's Meals on Wheels program. With the red door here with Jackie, I, I was able to talk to them and see what their needs were. They told me that they had been researching a truck to do countywide distribution for some years, and I thought it would be worth presenting that to the to the commissioner's court. So that's what Finn Cannon did, helping get ARPA funds approved to aid the ongoing problem made worse by the pandemic, and presented a check to the Kitchen and Red Door Executive Director Jackie Ham for a new truck. This has been a dream of ours for about five years to be able to service the entire county of Wichita. Um, there's so many seniors out there that we need to be able to deliver a meal to and check on them. It will allow them to distribute more items to more Meals on Wheels programs. We're not the only Meals on Wheels organization in Wichita County. We have Iowa Park and Burke Burnett and Electra, and we won't be going inside of theirs. We're going to be a complement to their services also and get those rural areas on those rural citizens of the county. All to help more people. And this had been an ongoing problem for a long time, but when people are calling you crying, these elderly people, and they're wanting to know what help they can get, it means a lot for me to, to be able to do something to help them out. And with the truck on back order, like so much else going on right now, they do anticipate the ball to start rolling on this project in April or May. That's going to be a huge help for them. Be able to send more to more places. Yes, That's for a great sure. thing. Okay, Zach, thanks so much.